What's up, YouTube? The BX Bowl 11 21 2010 Sports Blog. Now, I'll start off with NFL news. The Jets won in comeback fashion today, th 20, no, 30 27 over the Houston Texans. Um, that game was ridiculous. San Antonio Holmes once again came through for the Jets. Now, moving on to MLB news. The Yankees offered Derek Jeter three a three-year, forty-five million dollar contract, and they're going to keep the talks private. That's all the news for MLB. Um, now on to NBA news. Pedro Stojakovic is going to Toronto on a five-player deal. The keys to that deal is Pedro Stojakovic, of course, um, Jared Bayless, and they're going to Toronto. Jared Jack. David Anderson and Marcus Banks are going to New Orleans Hornets. So that was a key trade to look out for this week. Now, around the league last night, Phoenix picks up the L to the Bobcats, 123-105. Orlando picks up the win against the Pacers, 90-86. Dallas picks up the win against Atlanta, 98-93. Sorry. Miami picks up the loss um, a in a close game, 97 95 to Memphis. Rudy Gay came up with the winning shot. Oklahoma City picks up the victory against the Bucks, 82-81. The Cavs lose at San Antonio, 116-92. The Nets lose only by four, 103-107 to Denver. Utah picks up the win in Portland, 103-94. Now I'm going to talk about the Knicks at Warriors games, or the two Nick games. But first, some highlights from the Knicks at Warriors games exclusively from NBA.com. Knicks and Warriors in Golden State on Friday. David Lee on the bench, missing his third game with an infection in his elbow. Had surgery on that thing. Hopefully he'll be better soon. Monte Ellis feeling just fine. Fadeaway Jay is going to go. Raymond Felton equally as good on the offensive end on this day. Maybe a little luck involved there. Still went down. Five-point lead for the Knicks. Watch out! Rodney Turial getting a faithful. I mean, Ellis put that one in his beard. Seriously. 24 points in the first half for Monte. You know, he can fill it up in a hurry. Meanwhile, off the miss, check out Wilson Chandler. Man, he lost a tooth last week. He's back, and he's doing just fine. Actually, never really left. He's a tough guy. Raven Felton falling down off the glass. He had 17 through the first two quarters. Here's something you don't see every day. Marge Donemeyer blocking Vladimir Radmanovich on the top of the shot clock. Nice. Third quarter now. Monte continuing his onslaught. Somebody check me. Three. In the face. 88 75, Knicks in control. And it's Amari. Soft touch in the paint. 15 point lead for New York. Felton feeling it. Long range again. Kid dropped 35 points in this one. A career high. Also 11 assists. Reggie Evans trying to keep Golden State in it. And they fall back in this game. Down by five. Make that down by two. Steph Curry with the three. Danilo Gallinari trying to respond. He does just that. He strokes the triple. Four-point lead for the Knicks. Just under three minutes to go in this one. And check out the elevation. Reggie Williams getting that one to go. Gallinari, three ball, corner pocket. Go away. A collective effort by the Knicks outdoes Monte's 40 in the game. New York takes it 125-119. Now, it doesn't say in the video that Amari Stoudemire had 26 points, 11 rebounds, and Gallo added 23 points to that game. And it also doesn't mention that Stephen Curry had a quiet 29 points, surprisingly. But the key to that game for the Knicks was ball movement. Um, they moved the ball again, like I said in the previous video. Um, they had great ball movement, pause, and it led to 57.1% from the field, which is very good. So ball movement gave them um, pretty good shots, like in the Kings game. Now I'm going to talk about the Knicks at Clippers, but first some highlights from NBA.com.
Knicks and Clippers in L.A. on Saturday, the match that many have been waiting for. Lamar Stoudemire and the electrifying rookie, Blake Griffin. They would not disappoint on Saturday. There's Amari banging on Blake. Sure he didn't like that. Raven Felton on the run. He's going to lay it in. 27-26 game. Blake spinning. He's going to miss, but he's going to end up getting the rebound and getting the reverse to go. He had 12 points in the first quarter. Meanwhile, Eric Gordon is just going to give it to Timothy Mozgov. He got a little more on this day. You'll see what I mean momentarily. Meanwhile, it's Blake knocking down the fadeaway. He had 16 points, five boards in the first half. Still in the second. Felton feeling it. Knocks down the triple. Then it's Amari Stoudemire hitting the jumper over Blake. Stoudemire had himself a day, but Blake Griffin stole the show. Blake with the throwdown. That was mild compared to what you're going to see here. He's a tidy fella. Watch him clean up. He is unreal. This one, I have no words for. Ooh. Blake taking it to the top floor and owning Timofey Mozgov, the dunk of the year, hands down. Meanwhile, it's Danilo Gallinari. Knocking down the three. Tied a career high with 31 points, 17 in the fourth quarter. Then there's that Blake guy again, and he's continuing to use and abuse everyone in his way. Sets a Clippers rookie record with 44 points and 15 rebounds, but Amari gets the last lap, 39 and 11 for him. Knicks, your winner. Raymond Fallon had 20 points, 7 steals also. He matched his career high for steals. Eric Gordon added 25 points of his own. Um, that game was really good. Blake Griffin, he really surprised me. Um, I expected that much out of Blake Griffin. I didn't expect him to dunk over people like that, but it's crazy. The keys to that game was 43-51 um, from the free throw line for the Knicks. The Knicks made, um, went, the Knicks actually went to the free throw line 51 times, and they made 43 free throws, so that was good. So they took, so that shows that the Knicks weren't really weren't taking as many threes, even though they did drain a lot of threes, but they weren't taking as many threes. They were always probably pump faking and driving to the basket, drawing the contact. But that's basically it with this sports blog. So this is the BX Bowler, 11-21-2010 sports blog, signing out.